Well, hello there, you're watching an official Bean Pop Fans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another video. Before we start today's video, I just want to apologise um, that there wasn't a video last week. I am really sorry about this. Um, you know, I know uh, the uploads um, the last couple of weeks have been quite inconsistent uh, because there was a video two weeks ago. Um, and then obviously there wasn't a uh, video last week, so I do apologise about that. Um, hopefully things um, can get back on track from here. But yeah, I just wanted to start the video by apologising for uh, having no video last week. But I hope you guys can understand. So, as you can see by the video title, we are going to be talking about what is new for 2024 at Alton Towers. So, uh, last Thursday, Alton Towers put out a post on their... Um, social media channels about um, what to expect for the 2024 season and I thought I'd do a little video going into what um, Alton Towers have announced uh, for the 2024 season. Now uh, before I start I just want to say how excited I am for this season coming up. Um, I have not been excited for a season <coughs> I have not been excited for a season like this in such a long time. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have been excited for previous seasons, but not in this scale. So, like, for this season, I'm probably about this much excited. For previous seasons, probably around, you know, here, like, middle ground. But for this season, this is the this is my level of, my, of um, excitement. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, what have Vaults and Sales got planned for 2024? Well, Let's dive in, shall we? So, the first thing that Alden Towers have got planned for the 2024 season is, um, I think it's called, um, is it Alton, is it Alton After Dark? Bear with me one second, I just need to double check this. Yes, guys, it is called Alton After Dark. I just had to quickly uh, go double check that, um, just to make sure I was getting it right. So, um, yeah, that's the first thing that Alton Towers um, have announced, um, Alton After Dark. And um, this event is going to be taking place on the first uh, three Saturdays of the season. So, the first day of the season, the Saturday following the opening day of the season, so like the week after the opening day of the season. And then... Um, basically the Saturday after that. So, the first three Saturdays of the season, uh, we will be, um, <coughs> we will be seeing Alton after dark. And what this means is that Alton Towers on these three days will be staying open until 8pm. And I can't believe this. I, I personally cannot believe this. Um, I just can't. Like, I, I I don't know how to how, I don't know how to describe my excitement for this, how I'm feeling about this. I mean, Alton after dark for the first three Saturdays of the season. I mean, just the thought of riding Wicker Man in the dark on the first day of the season. I mean, wow, wow, we. Okay, I won't, I won't ever do that again. <laughs> I will never do that again. But I, I can't believe it. I, I, I just can't believe it. Like, an 8pm ride close for the first day of the season, followed by the um, other two Saturdays. I mean, you know, when it was originally announced, right? When it was originally announced, I was like, hold on. Am I living in a parallel universe here or something? Where Alton Towers have extended ride closures like for the first few like days of the season. I mean I, I was just like is is this reality? Or am I or am I in a parallel universe? I mean what's it after dark? 8 pm ride closures. So yeah, that that is just fantastic, you know? Um it's fantastic that we'll be, that we'll be getting 8 p.m. ride closures for the first three Saturdays of the season, and I I, I do think this is a test to see um, if late ride closures um, um, are viable. And, and you know what? I, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, like 
because before this was announced, you know, I think, you know, ride close on the first day of the season was going to be like, what, five, six o'clock? But I think it's eight o'clock and <coughs> it's going to be dark. Like, well, obviously it will be. Just buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. And hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, Nemesis uh, will be um, opening on the first day of the season. Obviously, Alton Towers haven't confirmed that just yet. But fingers crossed that it is. Because imagine, imagine, like Nemesis, like picture this, guys. Nemesis reopens, hopefully, fingers crossed, on Saturday, the 16th of March. Not only do you get to ride it for the first time since 2022. But you get to ride it again in the dark. I mean, wow. Just wow. I mean, I, I, I still can't get my head over this. I still can't get over my, my head over this. And hopefully, hopefully, Alton After Dark is a successful event. And hopefully, uh, we'll see this happen more often as the season goes on. You know, I would love it if Alton Tower stays open for longer in the uh, summer months. That would just be fantastic you know especially on the summer weekends in like july and august that that would be fantastic so hopefully alton after dark is going to be a successful event and fingers crossed we do get more late um ride uh closing times um as the uh, season progresses but yeah alton after dark i mean wow just wow wow <laughs> <coughs> So anyway, uh, moving on to the next thing Auto Towers have announced, and that is the VIP packages. So, um, what um, what Auto Towers have announced for the VIP packages um, is they've announced a um, a silver VIP package, and they, no, sorry, no, is it silver? Is it silver? I think. Do I have to go and have a quick look? I mean. Do I? Oh. Okay, I I'm sorry for doing this. I give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I did try and get on the Auto Towers website, but right now I can't access the website. I, I don't know why, because like my Wi Fi is working alright and you know I can access other sites and stuff like that, but for some reason the uh, Towers website isn't just loading at the minute. So um, what I will do is I will try and play around um, with like the After Effects on iMovie. And, and I'll try and uh, get a screenshot of the uh, VIP packages. But I believe um, the first one is silver and the second one is gold. Or it's either gold and platinum, um, I think. But anyway, yeah, um, again, I'll experiment. I'll try and add a screenshot to the video so you can see. So um, I might be wrong on what I've said. But anyway, uh, so um, Towers have announced these two. Uh, for now, we'll call them VIP packages. You know, two of them. Um, one of which you um, um, you do get a VIP host. Uh, so so basically, um, with uh, both of them, you get a theme park entry, you get um, express parking, you get um, God, I could really do with the website in a minute. Um, you get like a Coca Cola freestyle capsule. Uh, you get um, the all day uh, what is it called now? Digital photos. Like that kind of thing, um, and then one of them you get, um, I think, gold fast track, and then the other you get platinum fast track. And the package that has a platinum fast track, you do get a VIP host, and also both packages. <coughs> with both packages, you do get um, ex um, exclusive VIP merchandise, and so that'll be interesting. Um, personally, I'm not going to buy one of these packages purely because. You know, I've got an annual pass, so I don't really need to buy one. And also, they're really, uh, they're, they're quite expensive. Um, but yeah, VIP packages are back at all the towers. I remember they had uh, VIP packages like 10 years ago, um, when I first became an annual pass holder. And there was uh, VIP bronze, VIP silver, VIP gold. Um, VIP Platinum and VIP Platinum Plus. Um, so, like, I remember the VIP Bronze one. Uh, you just got the basic stuff. So, like, there was, like, Fast Track Adventure, um, where you had, like, a Fast Track ball, I think. Uh, like, this, this is back in the day, by the way. 
where you had a fast track for, you know, Congo River Rapids, uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, uh, Spimble Wizard, and like just a standard meal at the uh, Burger Kitchen. And then you got uh, VIP Platinum Plus, where um, <coughs> you had your VIP host, you had uh, Platinum Fast Track, you had front row riding all day on the coasters, and like so much more. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting that all the towers have brought back the VIP packages, and maybe you know they can add more to it. Um, I don't, I, I, I don't know um, the best way to go about it, but who knows? Um, <coughs> Along with these um, two VIP packages, Alton Towers have um, um, have announced that they have brought back the um, lift hill walks. So, um, well, they're calling they're calling them track walks, but personally, I'm, I'm, I like to call them lift hill walks. Um, so you can choose from Oblivion or Wicker Man. And again, I think this is really interesting. And, and um, I know this is more or less aimed to the theme park views that's like myself, but like I would like these like lifter walks they were available around you know like ten nine years ago, um but then they stopped doing them, and I've always wanted to do a lifter walk in oblivion, and that is something I'm gonna be looking at doing this year um I would love to do the wicker man one, but I just don't see the point in the wicker man one um whereas oblivion you know you go to the top and you can just admire the view from there but no it's great that um all the towers have brought back the um lift and walks and hopefully they can add um more to that um you know i'd love to see um uh, all the towers um bring back um uh, behind the scenes tools because um i do believe around nine years ago they did have behind the scenes tools for uh the smiler and um 13 so uh, that would be fantastic i would love i would really love to have a behind the scenes tour of 13 that would be really interesting but yeah they have brought back the lift and walks uh where you could choose from either oblivion oblivion and wicker man i was about to say the smile now i don't know why but i just had to quickly you know uh change what i was about to say so that's that all the tiles brought back the vip packages moving on then <coughs> is uh the return of hex that's right guys hex will be coming back to uh what will will be reopening in two uh hex will be reopening in the 2024 season and although autos house haven't given a date yet and um, fingers crossed it does come back on the first day of the season that would be amazing i mean it would be great if nemesis uh reopens on the uh, 16th of March as well as Hex. That would be fantastic. Um, and to be honest with you guys. I have really missed Hex. Um, you know. like Because I think it was only open for like a week. At the start of last season. And then it was closed for the rest of the season. And it was a shame. Because Hex is a great dark ride. I mean personally I do prefer the curse. At Alton Manor to uh, Hex. But Hex, there's something special about Hex which I really enjoy. So I'm really looking forward to getting back on Hex, you know, and um, experiencing the uh, uh, the legend of the towers. So <coughs> that's another thing. All the towers I've announced. And by the way, I just want to say I, I just want to apologise for coughing so much. I just I just can't help it in a minute. So I do apologise for coughing a lot. But there we go. Uh, moving on to the next thing that all the towers have announced is. Um, the uh, character breakfast. So, um, when guests are dining in the Secret Garden restaurant, uh, Flambeau Jambos, or even the Crooked Spoon at the Enchanted Village, uh, there will be an opportunity to, for guests to have a uh, character breakfast. Now, this is a really interesting move by Alders because I know that uh, Disneyland do character breakfast, I think. I, I think they do, anyway. So it's going to be really interesting. It's a really interesting move by Alton Towers to introduce cow to breakfast. Um, you know, imagine you you're there tucking into your breakfast and Darwin the Dodo comes and sits with you. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, that's a really interesting move by Alton Towers, um, and I think that's more or less aimed for the kids. Uh, I mean, for someone like me, it'd be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Um, you know, families with young kids, um, you know, that kind of, like, category, really. 
So again, it's interesting that all the tales have bought Cow to Breakfast is. Um, for this season coming up. And yeah, that's another thing Autumn Towers have announced. Um, moving on, um, Autumn Towers are bringing back the Autumn Bear. Sadly, not Henry Hound, but I would love to see Henry Hound come back one day. I mean, I never got the opportunity to meet Henry Hound, so who knows? Maybe one day in the future we will see the return of Henry Hound. But it's great that Autumn Bear is coming back because I remember, I remember when I was at Autumn Towers for my, uh, I think it was my ninth birthday. And at the end of the day, I got to meet Autumn Bear, so it'd be great to uh, meet the Autumn Bear again. Um, and it'll also be interesting to see what other characters, you know, meet and greets that Autumn Towers do. You know, you've got Diamond and Dodo, you've got Eric the Yeti. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we do get a lot more uh, character meet and greets. Moving on then, um, Autumn Towers are going to be celebrating 10 years of CBB's land. Uh, today, as I'm recording this today, um, I'm, recording, I'm recording this on Thursday, obviously this goes out tomorrow, um, Autumn Towers have announced that um, uh, one of the uh, characters, um, Bluey, Bluey um, is going to be there for meet and greets, and um, they'll be doing more stuff to celebrate 10 years of Sea Reapers now, and I can't believe it, I can't believe it, 10 years of Sea Reapers now, like, where's, where's that time gone? And I know I... I mean, obviously, me being 24, like, obviously, I don't go into Sea Reapers Land, because, uh, you know, <laughs> I think I'm a bit too old for that. But, <coughs> yeah, 10 years. So, it will be interesting, again, to see what Auto Towers do to celebrate 10 years of Sea Reapers Land. Um, and, obviously, with the introduction of Bluey as a meet and greet um, character, that should be really interesting. Uh, I've used the word interesting quite a lot, haven't I? <laughs> I will admit this has not been the best video. It's just me, like, just waffling on and with no context whatsoever. So, there we go. Uh, moving on, um, Alton Towers have announced the, their events for this year. So, Oktoberfest will be coming back. Scarefest will be coming back. Um, fireworks will be coming back, as well as their Christmas events. Um, the Festival of Films and Mardi Gras will not be returning for the 2024 season. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sad about those two events going. I mean, for me, in my opinion, the Festival of Films, it was an event in my eyes. Like, when they did it in 2022 and last year, it just, it didn't really feel like an event. I, I just, it, like, the Festival of Films for me just felt like a normal day. Like... It just felt like a normal day, apart from the stages they had, um, you know, in Forbidden Valley, X Sector, by Wicked Man, it, it really honestly felt like a normal day. And as for Mardi Gras, I mean, Mardi Gras, it was okay, but, you know, I, again, I'm not, <coughs> I'm not sad that those two events are going, um, would it have been nice if Alton Towers introduced two new events? Maybe, but I think it's good that we're just having October Fest, Scarefest, Fireworks and Christmas this year. Because um, um, Alton Towers have said that there's going to be new spooks and scares for Scarefest. So um, that could potentially mean uh, new scare mazes. Uh, maybe, um, yeah, um, new spooks and scares. So hopefully, fingers crossed, new scare mazes. Um, Oktoberfest, you know, you guys know I love Oktoberfest. It's such a fantastic event. I I absolutely adore it. Uh, fireworks, you know, it's a it's a uh, it's a traditional event, isn't it? You know, um, you know, you can't beat the fireworks. And um, hopefully Christmas this year, the Christmas event, hopefully that gets improved a lot because when I went last year, I wasn't particularly that impressed with it. You know, with the removal of the Christmas markets and whatnot. So hopefully. That gets a big improvement for this yeah so there we have it guys uh, that's what's uh, new um, for 2024 all the sales I know it has been the best video because I just waffle on and go yeah um, that's interesting yeah um, that's interesting so if you did enjoy today's video then um, please give it a like because it really helps the channel out if you are new around here and you would like to become part of the theme park fans family then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications uh, bell so you don't miss a single video. Um, 
Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description in the, the description below. So please go check that out. Give it a like. I, I really need to post on there. I, I keep saying I do, but I never don't like. I just post like my video links, and I'll say I'll post, but I don't. But I mean, I, I will try and get the page back up and running again, like you know, for normal Facebook posts. So uh, the next video it won't be coming out next Friday. Um, instead, it's going to be coming out either on Thursday or Friday. Okay, guys, I didn't mean to say Friday then. I meant to say Wednesday. So, uh, just to let you know, the next video will be either coming out um, either next Wednesday on, or ne next Wednesday or next Thursday. There we go. Back to the video. I know it's another ske uh, schedule change, but it's only going to be a one-off, hopefully. And, um, yeah, so the next video will be coming out either next Wednesday or next Thursday. I will keep you guys updated in the community tab, like on the community post on my channel, so uh, you know what's what. And yeah, bring on the 2024 season at Alton Towers. It's going to be a good one, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Love you soon for the next video.